What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be working on the Maz. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys last time, but I did take these guys apart. They're disgusting right now from the snow. You can see the whole car is disgusting actually. But these, I customized them. I took them apart. This used to be all amber. Um, and now I painted it black with some glitter um, paint or a clear coat. I did the front fascia of it um, in white so that it looks like it has DRLs when people look at it from the front. And then paint splatter, because why not? And then I did that guy there and the projector housing too and the demon eyes. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys last time, but if not, then there you go. Yeah. But as far as the video goes, as you guys may know, um, so I changed the name. Oh, it's bright. Let me, let me go this way, right there. So as far as you guys know, um, I did change the name of the channel. And there we go. Um, and then I did make it, um, so the new name, as you can see, is Spunka Builds. Um, a little bit of background information of that. Um, Spunka is my dad's nickname for me. And before my cousin passed away, that was gonna be our, mine and his, um, car brand, basically. Um, either car brand, design, anything we, we were gonna do something car related and it was gonna be named that. And we both agreed on that name. And unfortunately, he's not here with us anymore, but I'm gonna keep his legacy alive and we're gonna keep making videos for him. And I'm gonna keep doing what I do with the cars that I love and the cars that I know he loves to make him proud wherever he may be but yeah so that's the background information of why i changed the name as i mentioned before um spunka is kind of like i mean boost squad official which you guys see still in the bottom corner of the intro until i make a new intro um but until then we're here in my local parking garage and yeah let's make some videos up here once in a while because this is gonna be fun Hopefully we can do a meet one day up here, who knows. Um, but as far as everything goes, um, today I gotta go get a haircut. Yeah, so let's get that done real quick. And after that, today I'm gonna be installing a BFG blow off valve on the speed. It's gonna be a simple video. Nothing too major, nothing too crazy. Just kinda wanna bring you guys along. Uh, and yeah, hopefully you guys are liking the new videos with the new camera. I'm not sure how the quality is right now um, with, you know, the sun setting and having half shadow. If I go this way, I'm blinded. I can't see nothing. So I'm going to I'm going to keep it this way. But yeah, um, like I mentioned before, I changed the channel name so that it's more more universal. It's more of a me thing. It's more of a personal preference. Um, it doesn't sound so like you know boost squad sounded like too exaggerated you you got into the video and you're just like oh i'm gonna find a bunch of cool stuff super tuning stuff um crazy vids not yet not yet at least i don't have the money or the qualities to be able to make anything crazy out of this right now so right now as far as the videos go i got that caught um the blow off valve coming in with or it is here but i'm gonna do that today and then I did order a um, head unit. So pretty much all of this is gonna get replaced right here. So for all of this area is gonna get replaced with a fat, big um, touchscreen display. So that way, Tesla, you know. But yeah, let's go get a haircut and we'll bring you along with the, <clears throat> what you call it? bring you along with the uh, blow off valve video or yeah that's what we're gonna be doing today all right so you guys already saw a video of this before um, same part same basic car because I mean it's still a speed but this is part two of BFG blow off valve um, unfortunately I had to sell my old one my old blow off valve with the car back when I sold the car so now 
I don't have one for the speed. Um, but as far as that goes, it's okay because I got a new one and now I can have new stickers, so it works out. Um, as far as parts are, are going to be in the box, like I mentioned before, ooh, I almost dropped that. Um, kind of opens like a pamphlet and you'll have one of these. There we go. You'll have one of these. You'll have one of these. And if you don't get one of these, then you got ripped off. And you get one of these. The little bypass hose. Oops. Little bypass hose adapter. Goes right here. And last but not least, in this little slit right there, a lot of people don't know this. Sometimes I know I skipped it, but there is a Allen key in there. So there's that. And that is for your spring pressure right there. So as far as for mine, Mine, I like mine a little bit loose, so. <clears throat> so in the instructions, actually, I don't read the instructions, but maybe you will, so. Um, so the max height you can have it out of the, um, like the top of this is three millimeters. So that's a little bit less, that's like a mil probably. Um, if you really want it soft, 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 I recommend not going super like three mil because first of all, it's hard to measure. Secondly, um, I've had the situation where my friend uh, with the WRX, Jason, if you guys know him or if you've been watching for a while, he actually did this with his and it, one day while driving, he just noticed that his car threw a check engine light and then he was like, what the hell? He checked on this and this was missing. It was complete like spring, like super soft. So yeah, this will help not only with the duration of how long the blow off stays open, but it also helps with the actual spring tension. So the, you know, the higher you go out, so like that, the higher you go out, the softer the spring tension. And then the more you go in, the harder this piston is going to be to push in. Um, but yeah, and then I, I don't know if I recorded it last time, but this portion of the actual blow valve is actually a screw. Um, so as you turn it, watch this. Right now it's full recirculation. And as you turn it, you can close it. You can see that in there. And then it closes all the way. So now it's full bypass. And then you can do 50-50, which is what I'm gonna run. Like about right there, half moon. Uh, yeah, that's about 50-50. So that's 50-50, so you can make some whooshy noises plus have bypass qualities. Um, and then you can also do full atmosphere. But full atmosphere, I'm more than likely, like I'm pretty sure you're gonna need a tune for that. So uh, do that at your own risk, I guess. All right, let's go install this. So. No install is complete without actually installing the sticker. Just kidding. <laughs> there we go. For now, at least, until I have to take it off because this might be wrapped or something, but it works for now. Yes, sir. So now the actual install can begin. First of all, get a 10 millimeter. That's all you're gonna need. Um, take off your your inner cooler cover. Damn. 
All right, so first step is complete. Second step, um, get some pliers. Usually mine is easy enough to just squeeze by hand. You're gonna wanna take this. Yeah, I pulled it up quite a bit already by hand. And let's pull it off. And then, take this screw off, it's 10 mil, 10 mil, and you're gonna have a bypass hose right down there somewhere. It's kind of hard to see, right there. And yeah, that bypass hose is gonna connect to the bypass valve, and it's gonna have a clip, a clamp, I mean. Mine doesn't have a clamp for whatever reason, previous owner issues, I guess. Um, so don't don't tell me nothing about that in the comments down below because I don't have it. Somebody upgraded this car. I'm missing a clamp up here and I'm missing a clamp over here. So let me put this hose back in and I'll show you guys the rest of the process. All right, so then um, basically this is how it's supposed to look before you put it on. Um, and then, uh, so pretty much you're gonna put this in. First, obviously, clamp it down with a clamp. I don't have one. I'll put one on later. I'll run to the store real quick after this video and put one on. But I'll just, just for um, installation purposes, just pretty much, let me see if I can do this one-handed or not. Okay, doesn't look like I can. Need both hands real quick. Uh, pretty much all you're going to want to do is put this in the hose, the bypass hose. And then, there we go. Put it on, make sure that everything is good. And then put one screw by hand first. I always put them by hand just so that I don't strip them with the drill or at all, regardless if it's drill based or not, or if I use a drill or not. Okay. Make sure it's pretty snug. Obviously, don't over tighten them because this this pipe is aluminum, so you'll you'll for sure strip the threads if you tighten too hard, 100%. All right, just enough so that it's tight and it's not gonna go nowhere. Then you're gonna wanna get this bypass hose. Let's see. All right, so the vacuum hose, I mean, I'm gonna get it on there and mine's soft enough so that I can just squeeze it by hand and it will actually just be fine um, by hand. Just, I can actually get it on there. But then, so that's how it's gonna look. Well, besides the ridiculous hose, cause that's not the hose that belongs there. I had to get that brand new just a replacement hose because when i got this car it had a piece of hose from in there to here and then whoever decided it was an idea a good idea to cut the hose and replace like about this much like an inch and a quarter uh worth of space somebody replaced it with a lead pencil and then put rest of the way hose don't know who the previous owner was, but yeah, that's sad. Either way, put your intercooler, um, you know, shroud thingy back on. If you can't even find the hole, because I can't. Are you serious? Oh, there it is. This thing is torquey. Uh, come on. And that's the blow off valve for today. Actually, I'll do a little quick 
video demonstration actually before I head out because I don't got anything else to record. Unfortunately. And guys, that's gonna be the video for today. So, yeah, uh, not a very, you know, video heavy video, but it's something, it's something I wanted to share. Hopefully we'll see some of this one later on down the road. But yeah, so as far as today, sorry headphone users for blowing up your ears if you were wearing some. Um, I'll put a little notice before everything. Um, thanks for watching and yeah please hit like subscribe and turn on that bell notification if you like what you see so that way you're always up to date